Jared, uh, fair to say the vibe must be pretty good at the moment at the uh, Hobart Chargers. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we've had a, a great start to the year and I don't think we can uh, ask too much more. Um, we still know that we, you know, we could in reality be 10-1 and one and, you know, we're focusing on this weekend trying to get another two. Strange old road trip. You often go to Canberra to play two teams, but you're only home for one. Yeah, so I've been told. So, um, you know, we're going to go in on Friday night. Um, we're not going to take anything lightly. Um, I think in this league... Any team can have its day, and if you go in lightly, I think teams can get into trouble. So we're definitely looking at this weekend, knowing we've got two hard games, and we're going to try and get two wins. Have so been spoken about complacency against a team like Centre of Excellence? Yeah, definitely. I think they're danger games. Um, if you go into these games half-heartedly, um, you know, the results can go the other way. So we've had a great start to the week at training. I think Monday was one of our best training sessions we've had in a long time. Um, like you say, when you start winning games, trainings can become complacent. And um, I think the guys this week have stepped up and we'll have another good one on Thursday night and then uh, go in confident for the weekend. What, what do you mean when you say good training session? Is it the, the vibe or is it that you're hitting your shots, every shot you put up? Or what, what um, it? Yeah, well, we know um, we're a great shooting team, but like you say, it's more about the vibe of the session. Um, guys can get lazy, complacent, you know, and you look back on it, guys just going up and down with no real purpose. But this Monday, I think... Um, I don't know what it was, but guys had a real mindset going in to have a good training session, and I think that's going to prepare us for the weekend. Well, the last couple of years, uh, leadership's been a big thing at the Chargers, and or lack thereof, I suppose. Do you feel that's that's really there this year? The guys that really take it by the scruff of the neck. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know, with at least our starting five and a lot of the backup players, um, there's a real focus on leadership this year. Stu has put that on us. Um, he's big into. Uh, Leading from the front, but also giving the leadership guys a lot of uh, a lot more credit and a lot more responsibility. I think so. We've taken that on board, and I think if we, you know, we have those leaders on the court, um, we can save our timeouts for crunch times later in the game, and sort of in the flow of the game, get what we need to get out of the team. How does um, the Chargers compare to an NBL club? You've obviously been been there. Um, does it stack up? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a great program. Um, Stewie and the board have put in a lot of effort this year, especially. Um, obviously, I haven't been here in previous years, so I'm not too sure what it's like. But this year, you know, I think there's a, a good professional vibe around the club. Um, obviously, there's the buzz of an NBL team coming back to Tasmania. So I think uh, especially Stewie has put in a lot of time and effort to uh, sort of uh, put a bigger professional stand in the club. And I think it's showing. Asked him last week if you win the championship, and he said, "Ask next week after the Brisbane." Game. <laughs> so what's your, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, it's a long way off. You know, we're 11 games into the season, and especially with the pool that we're in, you just can't take anything for granted. So, the old saying is, "Take it one week at a time," and that's exactly what we're going to do. And um, you know, we'll continue to train hard, put in work, and I think the results will take care of themselves. What's on that?